Hello everybody, it's Aaron, back from Screen Stars, and I'm here once again to do another review for Geek Legion of Doom. And today I'm here to review the 2018 war drama Soldier's Lullaby. Now this is a Serbian film with English subtitles and um, the cast and the crew, um, I'm not even going to try and butcher their names to be honest because that you know, um, I don't want to do that disservice to them. But needless to say, it's made by and stars quite a few talented people. Now, this is a war film that focuses on the Serbian army in the First World War. Now, um, because of the film 1917 that's just been released, um, war films certainly at the minute are particularly popular, especially First World War films. So its timing, I don't think, is accidental being released right now. And it, like I say, it focuses on um, a battery of soldiers in the Serbian army in the First World War um, and their um, struggle in that war. Now, um, it focuses in particular on one soldier that joins up um, and it follow, kind of follows his journey throughout this film. Um, th the main problem with this film here is that it's its story is not exactly gripping. It didn't. You, you'll watch a lot, and I've you watch a lot of war films, and that you know the stories can really drag you in and grip you and things. Um, and I've watched and reviewed quite a number of um, foreign language films, certainly for Geek Legion of Doom, and I've enjoyed an awful lot of them. Um, and while I think this film is really beautifully made at times, and the cinematography is gorgeous at times. Um, it's got a real nice look about it and the performances for the most part seemed really good to me now it's always difficult um, when you're watching a film in a foreign language because you can't necessarily um, see the line delivery if they were like, unless they were speaking unless they're speaking in English something like that so um, there might there might be a couple of off performances here it's a, it's a little bit harder to judge when you're watching a foreign language film but for the most part the performances seemed on point to me um, and you know I don't have any issue certainly with how the film was made and certainly with any of the performances in it it just didn't grip me or hold my attention I just found the story a little bit directionless it, it didn't seem like it was really going anywhere they didn't really seem to be a central story here other than this kind of soldier's journey but his character wasn't interesting enough for you to care that much about his character if that makes sense um, and there are some battle scenes here and there but there's just not enough of them now for a war film this film from my perspective spends far too much time on long drawn out dialogue um, and far less time on what people want to watch a war film for and for the battle scenes. Now some of the battle scenes I think are done really really well and there's some um, heartbreaking scenes certainly in regards to um, animals because they use horses a lot in this film um, and I thought they worked a lot of these scenes, a lot of these battle scenes. Um, if maybe you could argue they weren't brutal enough. Now I don't watch a war film just to see limbs getting blown off, you know, like you would see in, I don't know, We Were Soldiers or Saving Private Ryan or something along that ilk. But it, in comparison to those films, the battle scenes are tame, um, I felt, anyway. But they were well filmed and they were well constructed and um, well choreographed and the bangs and the noise of these battle scenes was really impressive and really really impactful um, and that was by far the best part of those scenes is the noises that were going on around especially because I, I watched this and I had earphones on and I had it up quite loud and when the battle scenes were taking place and you could hear these cannons going off and the thuds of the horses and things like that it, it really really um, worked that side of it um, but it didn't necessarily match what you were seeing with your eyes, if you like, in regards to the reality uh, of what was in front of you. Um, and I just, I didn't feel invested in this film and in these characters, um, unlike a lot of war films that you watch. I think you need a, a something at the centre, at the core of it, to keep you interested, to keep you dragging you on, 
to keep you invested in these characters and this story and I didn't have enough of that um, they did try and lighten it with some comedy here and there you know some light moments with the soldiers you know, like falling in water and splashing about and having fun and um, other little bits and pieces like that and I actually really quite enjoyed that but the, again there wasn't enough it didn't allow you to get to know these characters that well and some of the horrific things that they had to do and go through um, in this film um, you didn't feel a connection to many of the characters here um, so I, for me I, I, I like the way the film looked and sounded um, I like the way the film um, was performed by the, the actors I think it's just the story let it down for me the story and the lack of um, action in the sense of war scenes I think lets this film down everything else I will, don't have a problem with at all so I'm going to give Soldiers Lullaby a 6 out of 10 if you're a fan of war films and certainly if you're a fan of foreign language films I think there's a, quite a lot here for you to enjoy but for me there are aspects of it that I felt a little bit let down with uh, or disappointed with so thank you very much for watching everybody um, and we'll see you back obviously on Geek Legion Doom for more reviews.